The following video contains content and or language which may be considered unsuitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Madsen Entertainment Inc. presents Dave and Friends, Episode 4, Sam's Search for Romance This episode takes place between LT Bloopers to 18 and LT Bloopers to 19. Since Cedric is not available, Terry Falcon appears in this video. So Dave and Rhonda have tied them up. Well Dave, you gave up single bliss for a ball and chain. Actually, being chained to Rhonda is a ball. You said it, Dave. Just thought I'd pop in and see how things are working out for the newlyweds. We haven't settled on a location for our honeymoon yet, Terry. We're just letting it all sink in first. Speaking of romance, I'm confused as to who will be my girlfriend. Dave and Rhonda are married, as are Scotty and Beulah. Terry and Miss M are steadies, but who will be mine? Don't give up, Sam. You still have hope. Sam has had Microsoft Anna, Microsoft Zira, Maya Logan and Nadine Falls taking care of him, so let's decide which one is best for him. Fair enough. Excuse me, am I interrupting? We're all helping Sam find romance, and Anna, Zira, Maya and Nadine are candidates. I'm Microsoft David, visiting from New Raffle City, where Cedric is closing a deal for a piece of land on which to build a new building for you. You sound a lot like that news reporter, Mitch Davidson. He's my stepbrother. You said Zira is a romantic prospect for Sam, but I have news for you, she's my childhood friend. Oh wow. I had forgotten all about you, David. We used to play zap tag in the backyard. Zap tag? We just used our fingers as zap guns, and after we zapped somebody, we'd say tag. You're it. Zowie! Well, since you and Microsoft David are both here, Zira, could you two get back together again? Sure, Dave. I love you, Zira. I love you too, David. That's one down and three to go. Don't look at me, Sam. I'm already married. What? You mean you're spoken for? Who looked you? David's stepbrother, Mitch Davidson. Sorry for not telling you about my life status earlier. Apology accepted, Maya. If Maya's already married, and Zira has a man of her own, that leaves me to choose between him and Maiden. Looks like a tough choice, Sam. Why not stage a laser eye duel? Sounds like a good idea. Are you up for it, Nadine? I don't mind telling you I feel scared. What can you be scared of? Remember the Block Airways tragedy, where I was the only survivor? After I recuperated, I discovered I had no laser eye powers. No powers? How could this be, since I helped her recover from a massive head trauma, after she fell here? I still have relapses, Rana. Sam has relapses from when Mary zapped him, but you can still gain laser eye powers. The doctors say that, although I have the ability to fly, the medication for my head trauma interacts so that I cannot use laser eye powers, so I respectfully concede the duel. We respect your decision, Nadine. This means that Microsoft Anna is the winner of Sam's search for the love of his life. She helped me overcome my anxiety over my speech impediment, and she became my private bodyguard and a loving partner. Whenever I got control freak tendencies, she saved me. But when Anna got lost at Mount Kilimanjaro, Sam started to lapse back into his tendencies. I'd call it a case of separation anxiety. That's it. Anna's been my true love all along. And I'll always be here to protect you from trouble, Sam. I love you, Sam. I love you too, Anna. Now that our matchmaking story has a happy ending, let's all go out and celebrate. Missy and I have picked out the place we can go. And what is it? 
I thought you'd never ask, Dave. The Lovey Dovey Cafe, sweeter than sugar, baby? Oh, cavities. This has been a Dave Madsen Entertainment Inc. production.